So let me ask you something. What's better than one hand cannon? Two hand cannons. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we're gonna have some fun with the Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum Performance Center with a three and a half inch barrel and the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum Performance Center with a three and a half inch barrel. Both of these guns are absolutely ridiculous. I cannot wait to abuse my wrist with these today. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Hidden Hybrid Holsters. It's starting to get cold out. That means you gotta wear a little more clothing, maybe a jacket or a coat. It also means you get to pack something a little bit bigger. Well, for me, I've been packing around this thing. This is my Stretch Armstrong and Hidden Hybrid Holsters has hooked me up with an inside the waistband holster for this thing. I also have one of these for my Glock 19 and my Glock 20. If you use coupon code KENTUCKY10, you'll get 10% off your purchase. Be sure and check them out. There's a link in the description down below. Okay, let's start out with the 460 Magnum. I have a shootsteel.com target set up about 10 yards back. Let's see how it holds up. Whoa, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that is a lot of gun. All right, up next is the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Actually, I gotta tell you something real quick. I got nominated for a Gundy Award. I got nominated for Best Gun Reviewer and Most Entertaining Content Creator. So I need your help if I wanna win one of those. I need you to vote for me. There's a link in the description down below. I'm pretty sure you can vote up to 10 times a day. And every time you vote, you get registered to win a prize. And I tell you what, if I win, I'm gonna do a huge giveaway just to show my appreciation. So help me out, go cast your vote. There's a link in the description down below. Okay, let's get back to shooting. <laughs> that kicks so much harder than the 460. The 460 kicks hard, but it does not compare to that 500 Magnum. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take another shot. <laughs> oh man. That's three, right? I don't want to lose count on this one. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> okay, now let's really have some fun. How about we dual wield these things? 460 in my left and 500 Magnum in my right. That wasn't the fastest dual wielding, but it was definitely the most powerful. How about a little bit more 460? <laughs> and a little bit of one-handed with the 500 Magnum. Alright, that's enough shooting steel. Let's blast a thing or two. Let's start out with some pineapples. What in the world happened? Where'd the pineapple go? Vaporize that pineapple. Let's see how 500 Magnum does. Oh my goodness. You know, it's pretty hard to find watermelons this time of the year, but that doesn't matter because nothing stops. Watermelon time. Where did it go? Now 500 meters. <laughs> now 
Now how about some red cabbage? Not as eventful as I wanted that to be. Still not very eventful. Now we got some honeydew. Oh my gosh, I am covered in fruit. Oh, almost forgot about you. Today I can only find one little eggplant. You are very, very unlucky. Nobody likes eggplant. You know, I've shot Stretch Armstrong before with a 500 Magnum, but I've never shot him with a 460 Magnum. <laughs> it looks like the cold has an effect on Stretch Armstrong's insides. He's not very gooey right now and said he's shattered like glass. Okay, now let's finish up with a few water jugs. <laughs> and last but not least is the 500 mag. <laughs> Well, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to vote for me for the Gundies. Just click the link down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. And while you're at it, share today's video with a friend. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.